Man of the hour, the man of the weekend, Rory McIlroy. No! Right over the stick, is it gonna come back? Here it comes. Oh, look at this. How good are you? The 2011 United States Open champion. Rory McIlroy, 22, becoming the youngest U.S. Open champ since Bobby Jones. McIlroy, now a guy about whom you can say, I remember when he was just a young buck. Kind of like you did with young Onright after his first breakout performance on SportsCenter. Which, switching to Ball State <laughs> men's tennis, it seems last week player on, it seems every week that you have a player. <laughs> 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 yeah, hit that one straight out of the park, on right. Yet still failed to crack the list of top 10 breakout performances. LeBron James entered the NBA as the first overall selection, and in his first playoff appearance against Washington, James lived up to the hype, producing a triple-double in his first game while averaging more than 35 points per game in the series win. At Wimbledon in 2001, a 19-year-old Roger Federer goes up against seven-time champion Pete Sampras. The match would go five sets, with the young Swiss prodigy announcing his arrival in men's tennis. There will be a new king at Wimbledon. Ken Dryden had played in only six regular season games when he was named starter for the Canadians in the 1971 playoffs. But he led Montreal to a victory over Boston, advancing to beat the Blackhawks for the Stanley Cup. Dryden was named the Conn Smythe Trophy winner. Boris Becker truly arrived in the world stage in 1985. The German became the youngest ever men's singles Wimbledon champion at just 17, as he claimed his first of six Grand Slam titles. Crosby with a chance to win it. Crosby scores! Welcome to the Crosby Show, Canada. I think my chance will be good for uh, make that club uh, if I work hard and after, if I had a good training camp. Patrick Waugh played in just 47 games in his rookie campaign, but his performance in the 1986 playoffs made him a star in Montreal. There's a shot by McGinnis, the save by Waugh, the rebound, oh. Owen Waugh has the puck, and the 1986 Stanley Cup champions, the Montreal Canadiens, surrounding, congratulating 20-year-old Patrick Waugh. After Kareem Abdul-Jabbar injured his ankle in the 1980 NBA Finals, rookie point guard Magic Johnson took over at center for L.A. in the pivotal sixth game and led the Lakers to a championship. There it is. It's over. And the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. 42 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship. Wayne Gretzky truly earned his nickname in his first year in the NHL. The great one became the youngest player to score 50 goals at just 19 years and two months. Gretzky also won his first of eight straight Hart trophies. Tiger Woods arrived in the scene at the Masters in 1997, dominating the field and winning his first major by a shocking 12 strokes. There it is, a win for the ages. The highlight of the night. Next.